This is another very standard kind of related rate problem, volume of a cone. So let's say we have an upside down cone. It's a conical tank with a height of 30 feet and a maximum radius of 10 feet. And water is being pumped into it at six cubic feet per second. How fast is the height rising, the height of the water, when the height of the water is 12 feet? So first of all, notice that this rate that we are given, that rate, cubic feet per second, that is a dv dt. That is how fast volume is changing. So we have dv dt, and what we're looking for is dh dt, how fast is the height rising. So we'd like to be able to relate the volume to the height. And of course, this little area where there's water, that is a small cone itself. So we know that the volume of a cone is one-third pi r squared h. Now the trouble is, right now, it would be unwise to take a derivative because we have too many variables. We want a dv dt. We want a dh dt. We don't want an r. And of course, this is problematic because it, r is not constant. r is going to be changing also. So if we just took a derivative right now, we'd wind up with an r. It would be a big mess. So instead, we'd like to express r in terms of h. Well, again, this is something that people often don't realize, but you can enormously simplify working with a cone if you think of it in terms of proportional triangles. So really what we have are these two giant proportional triangles. So, h, so r over h equals total radius 10 over total height 30. Or cross-multiplying, what we get is that 3r equals h, or r equals h over 3. Well, that's enormously helpful, because then I can plug that expression into the volume formula. And I get 1 third pi h over 3 squared times h. Now, simplifying this, what this winds up being is pi over 27 h cubed. Well, now this is very useful because now this gives me a direct formula between v and h, which are the two variables I'd like to relate. And you should always create that before you take a derivative. So now we're ready to take the derivative. So dv dt equals pi over 9 h squared dh dt. And so we know the dv dt is 6. We have a pi over 9. We have an h squared 12, so that's 144 times dh dt. 6 equals 144 divided by 9 is 16. 6 equals 16 pi dh dt. And then dividing, and what we get is dh dt equals 6 over 16 pi. We can simplify that to 3 over 8 pi. And that is the rate at which the height is rising at that particular moment in time.